I'm Dan Daly. Welcome to my studio. My beginning is almost always a drawing. So I have um, books and books of my ideas. And as something occurs to me, I record it. So it's like a diary of my thinking. I'm touching a vase here called Poison Ivy Man. And Poison Ivy Man has a symbol of Poison Ivy right here, largely displayed. And in the foliage of the Poison Ivy, you can see a face. This is typical of the series, many pieces in this series, and uh, all with a symbol that means something to me. In response to the um, question, how long does it take to make this? It's you, you can't really nail it down. Uh, let's say I had the idea in October and I put down some thoughts in the sketchbook. By the time I was blowing glass uh, in Seattle with the team of people I work with, could have been a month or two later. And I would have a large full-size drawing made from my sketchbook of the form itself. So on one day, the piece uh, would be blown. If I liked it um, and didn't have to make it again, most often we'd get it. Pretty, pretty close to what I had in mind right off because of my friends who were such ace glass blowers. I'd send the piece uh, back to New Hampshire at, at the end of that week and the bottom of the piece would be ground. You can see here the marks of uh, all the blowing have been ground away and a nice rounded form is created. And then the whole piece has been uh, covered with rubber so I can make a drawing on it. The drawing is then uh, cut away. I cut it away with an X-Acto knife and peeled away some of the rubber to expose certain parts, and then it's sandblasted. All that drawing sandblasting process would take two days, two and a half days, three days, depending on the complexity of the design and size of the piece. So by the time it's ready for um, sandblasting, it's already been, say, three days of work on the piece. Then it's sandblasted. That takes, with a piece this size, maybe six, seven hours. So that's a full day or more of working on it, taking it out, inspecting it, marking certain places, going back and sandblasting more. Once I determine that the blasting has reached its end, no more needs to be done, then all the rubber would be peeled off. The whole thing would be cleaned with alcohol and then all the edges where the masking stopped had to be cleaned up with a small diamond tool. So that's a lot of hours of just tedious little rubbing to put a tiny edge around all these shapes so that what you see isn't jagged. And then it's sandblasted again, the entire surface completely sandblasted with a lighter pressure from a further distance away, the nozzle of the blaster further away. So it covers a broad range instead of a tight spot. Once that's done, it goes to the factory. The whole thing by then has been underway for a week, this piece. That's from drawing to having it prepped for acid dipping. The acid dipping takes a long time to drive it to West Virginia and drive it back and so on, but the actual time in the acid is only 12 seconds. The time um, of cleanup and preparation in the factory and cleaning, rinsing, and packing in the factory and all that stuff, probably half an hour, and then it all comes back to the studio. And then um, the enameling could start. Probably didn't start right away that day, but within a week or two, the enameling would start. Just the enameling alone would take a month to apply, because this is a large piece, and those are tiny dots, and there are thousands of them. So, so overall, this would take easily I don't know, a month and month and a half to make. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your interest in my work and I hope you'll check it out 